It's Monday. <coughs> I didn't do a vlog last week. I started one, but nothing happened, so I stopped. And it's Bank Holiday Monday, 30th of August, isn't it, Jen? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I have to deal with. And yeah, so we are gonna go and do I and get the car going, do some shopping. Ow, she's standing on my fingers. Yeah. Come on then, say hello. It's a book. Hi. That's about all you're gonna get, I think, today. She's in that sort of mood, isn't you? You have to listen well for the call. <laughs> you funny girl. I love, 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 and then later on we're gonna go to the park, so yay! <laughs> Done the shopping, now we're on the train in the park, aren't we Jen? Jennifer's driving the train. Um, let's, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go on the slide. You want to go on the slide? I want Daddy to stand up. You want Daddy to stand up? All right. She wants you to stand up, Daddy. Come on, we're going to sit on the other side. She wants you to go with her, Paul. You know she likes you on the slide. She likes the slide. Go on, Jen! We've been, we been to the park, you know, where Jennifer's eating a cookie and she had a sausage roll from Greg's. You love Greg's sausage rolls, don't you, Jen? Yeah, she loves chocolate. She says she's Barbie today. Nice. So, Barbie's eating Yes, yeah, so Barbie's eating that. So we've got more stuff. Paul ordered a storage basket for the bathroom, but it's too massive, so we're going to use it for something else, which is fine. Um, cooking tea, we've been out in the garden. Yeah, it's been a nice day. Back to work tomorrow, though. That's always a problem. I want to do a colour and chat tonight if I feel up to it, so we'll have to see. I'm feeling a bit better today, so maybe. So it's Monday night, and everybody is in bed now. Jennifer's sound asleep, which is good. I'm still feeling tired. I'm very ruddy. Um, so I'm up in bed. I'm gonna potentially read for a bit or I might just go to sleep. I'm so tired. So I mean I haven't done a video for a while. I'm just too exhausted all the time, so we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, if I feel better later in the week I will start a colouring chat and of course it's the end of the month so we got our round of videos to do, so I am gonna try and get them done. Anyway, I will see you very, very soon tomorrow morning. Bye, guys. Good morning, everybody. It is now Tuesday, the 31st of August. Payday! Yay! Um, also, the last day of August, which is bizarre. Can't believe we're moving in September, autumn. I like autumn. It's fine. Halloween, great, creepy pictures. I'm very tired today. Jennifer decided not to sleep again last night, part of the night. I woke up at quarter to 12. I've been in bed for a while because I'm just so tired. And um, she started crying. Where my uh, I said, what's the matter? I just said, I want to cuddle. This video. I said, right, I'll go to the toilet and I'll be right back for you. So I did that and she would not go to sleep for ages. So I was awake for a good while. Uh, she wanted to uh, then she, she was coughing so she needed some of her Puritan and e-histamines. Um, so she gets hay fever and that. So gave her that and um, yeah, I'm tired. So uh, yeah. It's going to be a really long morning. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and uh, see what I can do. I'm going to watch some colour and chats and some... Uh, oh, I'm so tired. And just see what I can do because I'm very tired and I just need to uh, crack on with work and concentrate on that, really. So I'm going to do that and then we'll... Uh, I'll see you after I finish work. See, I'm not really with it yet. All right, see you in a bit. It's Tuesday night and yes, I haven't done any vlogging 
the reason for this is I got a call from the nursery at 11 o'clock asking me to go and get Jennifer because she wasn't herself and she'd been had a temperature of 39 and a half degrees so I went and got her brought her home fortunately the cat the car worked all right it's been playing up it's, it's fine if you know what you're doing with it picked her up brought her home she feels very hot gave her some cow pull and she's definitely not herself she's um watching tv on me and the adverts come on and normally she's like adsters mommy adsters uh, and today she just was not bothered so she's not feeling very well so um we've ordered a covid test for her because she has got a cough she's got a temperature but she's also sniffling and aching so who knows so we got one just to be on the safe side so that should be coming tomorrow and then we'll get it done and send it off for, for testing hopefully it's not hopefully she's fine um so she'll be off tomorrow so i won't be working i can't work when she's ill um if she sleeps all day it's not a problem but if she's awake she'll want to sit on me so i can't actually work so it's what it is unfortunately anyway um, I'm going to do a bit of filming while well, I feel up to it. It's only half past eight. I'm going to film um, as much as I can. There's three I want to get done. Completed pages, haul and uh, colouring chat. So I am going to start doing that now and I will see you in the morning. I'll let you know how Jennifer is. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday night. Um, so Jennifer was awake around midnight last night. And she woke up again at four o'clock and that was it. So I've been up since then. Um, the temperature came down, she felt a lot cooler today. But then it's gone back up, it feels hot, she feels hot again at the moment. She's asleep now, uh, I keep an eye on her again tonight. The Covid test came and we did it and that was a horrible thing, I hope I never have to do that to her again. It's like the other week she got a piece of paper stuck up her nose. And what was it, the week before last I think? And we were telling her not to put things up her nose, and then what would we do? Go and tub a swab up her nose. So we tell her not to do something, then we go and do the opposite. So that's really good for a start, isn't it? I know it needs to be done, but she doesn't understand. And she cried, and she pulled her head away. And her nose bled a little bit. And she sobbed for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Because we packed up the test. Paul walked down the hill. It's about a 10 minute walk to the priority post box and he walked back and she was still sobbing when he came back. She only stopped sobbing when the McDonald's arrived, which I'd ordered because I thought, nah, give her a treat because she's having this done. Um, and then she wouldn't let anybody touch her nose or go near her at all. She's the same with um, injections. She does not want to go to the doctors anymore because of having the injection. She's afraid they're going to give her an injection. So I hope to God that this PCR test comes back clear um, and not inconclusive I hope it comes back negative because if it comes back I mean if it, if it comes back positive that's fine we could deal with that if it comes back inconclusive we've got to do it again and I can't do it the only good thing I can say is we do have a nurse living next door who might be able to come and help and she loves Jess so I'm hoping that it'll be all right but we got to now keep her off until we get the results of at least this test so I personally think it's flu because you know, I don't know. I don't feel ill at all. Paul feels a bit off, but not ill. He feels a bit, he feels exhausted, but I feel exhausted all the time, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm uploading a video now, and then I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube, colour for a little bit, and then go to sleep. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll let you know how it's going in the morning. Cool. Parents, eh? It's hard work being a parent because kids. Mm, it's hard work on a minute. They're hard work, especially when they get sick. But I thought I'd just give you a quick update. So if there's not much vlogging, this is why. The only good thing being in Wales is that we, if she does have COVID, because me and Paul are both double jabbed, we don't have to isolate, which means at least one of us can go out and get um, essentials. But if she has got it, if she does come back positive, we'll both do tests as well, just to check. Because that's just the sensible thing. So, 
the way she's all over me i'm more likely to have it than pull but i don't feel ill so i feel fine um anyway i'll see you tomorrow bye everybody it is now uh friday afternoon and Very early this morning we got the results back that Jennifer's COVID test was negative, which so that's good. Uh, you know, I, I didn't think she had it, but she's still not right. She's she's very tired. She's asleep on the sofa. So that's the third or fourth time she's fallen asleep and I'm absolutely shattered. I don't know if you could tell. Look at me. I, I just I'm feeling lightheaded and I feel ill from lack of sleep. So every time she does this I try and get half an hour to an hour's kip. But as soon as I put my head down she wakes up and starts dreaming, so I fully expect to have to do that again. Um, I got a box from Analog Wonderland today. Um, where is it? Here it is. But I'm not going to show you what's in it. If you want to see that, you will have to nip over to my TikTok. I can, I'm going to film it tonight. I haven't filmed it yet, but it'll be up by the time this goes up. And uh, look me up. I am Andrew the Camera Girl. And I'll be showing this on my TikTok as my first video. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done it before. It'll probably be bloody awful. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to try and get a little bit of sleep. If this doesn't work, I'm going to try and tidy up if she goes back to sleep. And then, because there are dinosaurs everywhere. It's like living in Jurassic Park. <laughs> and then uh, I'll sleep when Paul finishes work. But hopefully, I might see you a bit later if I can... The sun's out. I want to try and get out in the garden this afternoon. I'll sit down in a bit of a colour. I've got a couple of new colouring books that have arrived, including my colour in heaven. I'm not going to start that today um, because I want to start my um, Beauty of Horror Marilyn picture, uh, which I'm doing a buddy colouring with John over at Colouring by Moonlight. And I've got to pull out A Million Mermaids, so I'm doing one from that with Chelsea from Chelsea Jane Marie Colouring. But I need to sleep, so I'll see you later. Hey guys, um, yeah, it's bedtime, everybody's in bed, we're all shattered, Jen's asleep, um, yeah, she went a bit funny again, um, I think it's just she was, she's tired, she's got, a, she's got a flu, and she's cold and hot, and she didn't want to eat, and then Paul, he popped down the shop, and, and she had a, a drink of milk, and she had a little bit of chocolate and a packet of crisps, because as far as I'm concerned, getting anything in it is a bonus. And then she put it right up, she asked where daddy had gone and she wanted to, to play and cuddle and she's been fine ever since. Um, we had a McDonald's for tea because we were just too tired to do anything. So tomorrow we're going to take her to the fair, it's a very tiny fair. It's not very big, they don't have very big ones like they used to in Risca. The one in Risca, they used to have it up the hill from where we live. There is a big field there. Um, it was huge when I was, was when I was a kid growing up. And there's a skate park there now. And now they, they, some church wants to build a community hall. We don't need another community hall. We got five or six. Up there. We got about four. Um, and most of the population of the area don't want it because it's the only green space that we've got in this area. If so, if you're a small the hill up to it is very very steep so if you've got mobility issues and can't walk very far but you want to take your kids somewhere to play it's a long way down to risk park so it's up there and again another person said that when their child was ill and they needed the air ambulance that field was the only place that the heli helicopter could land in t sign to to um take their ch child to hospital if this company or this church build there they won't be able to do that now they don't own the field it's leased they want to lease it from the council everybody's up in arms about it it's not really affect me because i don't go up there but i it's, I, I i mean I'm, I'm i'm not a religious person so i don't care whether it's a church or just a charity I know churches can be registered charities and all that nonsense. I don't agree with religion. I'm I'm not going to get into that. I know people who are religious and fair play to them. I haven't got a problem with them at all. Um, but when I was a teenager living on top of the hill, because I used to live up there, it we used to have a fair up there and it was amazing, absolutely fantastic. 
used to love going there. Um, I used to live a little bit further up the hill, but it wasn't as steep. And we used to walk down or catch the bus because there's a little shuttle bus that runs around the area. And we used to go to the fair, win goldfish. I had goldfish from there. It lasted years. He was still living when I went off to college. And my mum and dad had him. Did they have him in the house? They had him in the house they're in now. I'm sure they did. I'm sure he was over on the shelving where mum's Elvis thing is. Anyway, they had him for years. He got quite big, actually. Um, but anyway, I digress. So the one we have in the park is tiny. There's maybe six rides, if that. But it'll get us out of the house. We can have a walk around, get some fresh air, because I've hardly had any. I went out this afternoon, evening, had my dinner outside. It was lovely. And then we can take her over the park to play in the park itself, in the play park, uh, as well. So we can make a, a nice morning of it. Some cameras in the auction on Sunday. Tempted to bid. We'll have to see what time I can get uh, out to. Because, uh, yeah, I would really like to bid on them. They're not... They're older cameras. They're more vintage ones. So I don't know whether they'll go high or stay low. Um, it tends to be when you get the, the big SLRs in that it goes for more money. Um, so it's hard to say. I'll have a look. If they don't go too bad, I mean, 50, 60 quid I might be to spend. Maybe 70, any more than that, I'd be pushing to get my money back. Uh, at least one or two of the cameras in there, you're not going to be able to use, you can't get film for them. One of them is a Polaroid land camera, uh, which I would like because I'd like it as a display piece. You can't get film for it. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to bed now. I have not, I have done a bit of colouring, but I haven't coloured a picture today, I'm too tired. Hopefully get back to, uh, on track tomorrow, I'll just colour when I feel like it. I did make my first TikTok, it is up, um, only one person's watched it and that's my friend Michelle, so <laughs> we support each other. She's a writer, I, I make videos, we support each other, and that's what we do, so, uh, yeah, she's a great friend, she's one of my best friends. I sometimes get lonely because I don't have a lot of friends. Where I live, all my friends are scattered around the world, and sometimes I really feel that I haven't got any friends, but I have. They're just in places like England, London, Northampton, Scotland, the Isle of Wight, Cornwall, and New Zealand, Australia, France, Germany, and America, Canada. They're everywhere. Um, Sometimes I get lonely because it's not the same as having somebody to hang out with. But I know they're there if I need somebody to talk to. I know I can talk to Michelle. Or, or Hannah. Or one of the others. I know I can. And Jackie. And, you know, I know they're there if I need them. So hello. All my friends all over the world. I love you. I'm going to bed. I'm going to start crying again because I'm so tired. I'm so emotional. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Hey guys. It is Saturday. And I feel so much better, so I slept so much better. I still look tired and I'm going to be for the next few days. But yeah, I feel so much better, it's brilliant. Um, Jennifer seems a lot better, so we're gonna take her down the fair in a bit. Uh, hopefully my dad will come down and um, I'm gonna take a film camera with me. At the moment I'm sorting out a ton of washing because when I buy clothes for Jennifer, especially if it's not wrapped in plastic, and even if it is, I do prefer to wash it before she wears it. Sometimes I can't because she'll grab it and put it on. Especially if it's a t-shirt like a Spider-Man one. But like with this school stuff, I just wanted to give it a wash just to get it all, make sure there was nothing, no dust and dirt from the shops in it. So of course I've got all that school stuff because we went a bit mad. Um, she's got plenty of school clothes. She's only in for two hours a day, but she's going to get filthy. So I will make sure there's a complete set of clean, normal clothes in for her and say if you want to if she wants to get changed when she comes out of school and you don't mind doing it, do it. If not, I'll change when she gets home. Um, so she is potentially going to be going through two lots of clothes. So I have a slight plan for next week because I'm off part of the week, even though I have most of this week off. Um, off Tuesday because we need to go meet her teacher. It's only a 10 minutes, but I thought it's easier to just do that than to you know so my plan is on tuesday take her to nursery as per normal at half past seven come home have breakfast cup of tea make a cup of tea bring it upstairs and i'm going to tidy this bedroom up it's the right state there's stuff everywhere because i haven't been doing ebay 
and there's colouring stuff everywhere and I need to get it sorted. There's camera stuff everywhere I need to get it sorted. Some of it's my own personal darkroom equipment, so I want to get that sorted out and put away. Um, I've got a box for it. So I'm going to be putting that all into a box. It's just developing tanks and reels. At the moment they're in a carrier bag and it's messy and I've got somewhere to keep it. So I'm going to do it. Oh, the battery's running out. I do have a spare one. I'll go and get, one, get it in a minute. It's in the drawer. So yeah. And um, then I'll take, we'll take it down for a meeting and then we'll come back and I'll carry on with this room. Then on Friday, I'm either going to do eBay or I'm going to be tidying up downstairs. It depends on how much I can get done the rest of the, on Wednesday um, after I pick her up from nursery. But that's the plan. I better change this battery because I'm taking you to the fair with me and I'll see you in a bit. Hey everybody, back from the fair now. I know I said I was going to take you with you. And I did take the camera, but I forgot to put the battery back in. Anyway. We brought her back, she was getting a bit fractious. Dad came down, she went on the same ride four times. There was only like four rides really, and only really two she could go on. Uh, one she wouldn't go on because she was too scared of going on on her own. And no adults, no adults couldn't go on with her. And little cars which went round, and then they'd go slowly, and then they'd whip round the corner. She really loved it, she went on four times, once with me and three times with Granddad who came down. And me and Paul and I went to eat, and then we went and had a drink in the pub. Only one, and then, uh, yeah, she, uh, we took a brought her home, she was getting tired and fractious and a bit grumpy, so. But I'm now going to try not to fall asleep. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, it's now about 10 to 10. Jennifer's asleep in bed, bless her. Bled? Bed. She went about at uh, half seven. Um, we listened. Some music was like 80s night here in Powder Palace. It was lovely. Um... And uh, yeah, we listened to some 80s music and I then, I was colouring. Did a bit more on my Sarah Richter picture from other colour in heaven, Creatures of the Night. And then I started my buddy colour with John, which is the Marilyn picture from the Beauty of Hollow 5, Haunt of Fame. I've only done a hair, it took me about 40 minutes to do a hair with three different colours of yellow. Um, tomorrow I'll start on the skin and stuff, what there is of it, because obviously she's uh, dead. And it's actually a gruesome book, but I want to colour most of the pictures in there. Maybe because it's celebrity stuff, the one sitting next to it is Farrah Fawcett, which is great. And then later on you've got Elvis, you've got Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, Judy Garland from The Wizard of Oz, with the winged monkeys, which is really cool. You've got the golden ghouls, you've got the Hebe Bee Gees. <laughs> there's a John Lennon one, there's an, a Beatles Abbey Road one, where of course you've only got the two dead stars and of course the um Guliana and her friend taking the place of Paul and Ringo which I think is hysterically it is just brilliant you've got um Kurt Cobain apparently the Ramones uh, Amy Winehouse obviously <laughs> she's in there and there's still got the Steve Irwin um Bob Ross Bob Marley Jim Morrison it's just it's just such a well done book that I love it and I want to colour the I mean it's great I mean I haven't felt I want to colour a load of pictures in a book like I do that one for a while I mean I want to colour all the pictures in all the books but to actually feel I really want to get on with it and do it now is great so I've got one two three whips downstairs and I'm gonna I've got a whip up here to do and I like to have a few downstairs I leave there because I colour downstairs and a colour upstairs so yeah the way is if I've, at the moment I've got a set of gel pens clear gel pen well, different gel pens down there I've got the Scribblicious and I've also got my Prismacolors and a sharpener now I've got a sharpener up here and I've got my polys my black widows and all my other pencils if I wanted to use them I'm a marker. I'm too tired I really want to colour but I'm too tired I'm going to go to sleep in a minute which is good and yeah it's just so nice to have you know it's supposed to be really hot tomorrow so I probably won't be going out much other than to the shop uh, shopping day tomorrow but of course it is the auction there are some cameras there I want to have a look at I'm not necessarily going to get them if they go for a reasonable amount I know what I want to pay for them and if I can I'll get if I can get them, that I will and on Monday I'll have to uh, drop Jen at mum and dad's for an hour while I nip to uh, to Cardiff unless dad come with me if dad comes with me looking forward to that. I love watching the auction. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I'm going to take my medication and uh... <laughs> hey.
I'll see you tomorrow for Sunday. Bye. Hey everyone, it is Sunday morning and it's on the wrong side. But like I said, Sunday morning. Um, Jeff got up at seven o'clock, it's now come up to 10 to 11. It's fine. Um, I'm about to put washing online, it's supposed to be dry all day, so fingers crossed and then I'll do another load tonight and get that out. I'm just trying to get Kirsty on top of it all because although she's not going to school properly, she's going to be going for two hours a day and she has to wear, she doesn't have to wear, but we want to get used, used to wearing some kind of uniform. So she's got black leggings and joggers, uh, uh, some blue cardigans, navy blue cardigans and some pale blue polo shirts, which are the, is pretty much the uniform. So I'm going to have two sets of clothes for her every day. <sighs> Plus pyjamas, if she wears them. So it's potentially three. Um, she does, sometimes wears pyjamas, sometimes she just goes to bed in a, a nappy. She wears a nappy at night because our bathroom and toilet is downstairs and I don't want her doing the stairs. So she's got a gate on her door so she can't get out. She's She probably could manage it, but I think she probably wouldn't yet, yeah, so... Most mornings she's dry anyway, so I'm not worrying about it because she goes away during the day. But she's only three and a half, it'll happen. So I'm about to put, like I said, I'm going to put the washing out, we're going to go shopping, and then I want to get back for one o'clock for the auction, so we need to get a rig along because like I said it's 11 o'clock, so we've got two hours. Um, and I've got nips in my mum's as well. Typical, yeah. Always have. I've got my cup of tea in my uh, Weird Sisters mug from when I was in Weird Sisters at the Dolman which is great <laughs> I've got two of these, they're my favourite mugs and they, they've lasted really well so yeah, they're really good and yeah, so get the shopping done nip to mum's, come back, do the auction and then if it's nice I'm going to come out here and sit out here and um, do some colouring I'm going to have a look, I've got my our rug on the line area at the moment, it does need cleaning but Paul has lost the cleaning instructions so I'm going to go on the website and have a look, see if I can find them, see if there's anything on there. Fingers crossed. But yeah, feeling a bit tired, but not too bad. I had a good night's sleep, that's the main thing. And I started my buddy colour with John last night. I've done the hair, and I really like the hair at the moment. Well, I did last night, I'm hoping I still like it today. So I've got three, like I said, three colourings downstairs, and the rest of it's upstairs. So when I'm downstairs, I do what's downstairs. Tonight I've got to film a colouring chat. I don't have to tonight actually because this is going up tomorrow so I'll film it tomorrow night because I'm off Tuesday as well Tuesday's a major clearing up day so that Friday Monday Tuesday I can do videos I can do eBay I can spend some time with Paul we can we're trying to sort out the house we've ordered some Calyx shelving um to which is coming Wednesday to put our records on and our record player our turntable so that it's nice it we've got a three by four or four by three, whichever way you want to turn it. Come in with, with doors on the bottom. It's got the inserts. So that's cool. So if I can, we'll be putting stuff on there. Well, I will be as soon as I get it. We get it built. <laughs> we'll put the stuff on there. Stop putting stuff on there. Wait at the bottom. I said you can you can you can drill it to the wall. Secure it to the wall might be an idea. We'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, I am going to get this washing out so I can crack on with the rest of the day. I will see you a bit later, maybe out here um, when I'm colouring. Okay guys, it is Sunday night, Jennifer's in bed. I'm sitting in the garden having a, a drink. I've pulled the order I've got, reading some stuff on Facebook and just chilling. I was going to do a bit of colouring, might do a little bit, but it's getting a bit dark. And to be honest, I don't know if I can actually be bothered. I might do some in bed in a bit though, because we're going to bed soon. I'm going to have a nice shower. Good, but I just thought they'd come and sit outside for a bit. It's, it's just, it's nice. It's not much breeze. It's actually quite warm. It's going to be hotter tomorrow and hotter again on Tuesday. So hopefully tomorrow I might have a couple of gins with the neighbour once the kids are all in bed. That'd be nice. Anyway. Oh, I'm tired. I won the cameras in the auction, so tomorrow I've got to go to Cardiff. So I'll either take my car and take Dad and Jen with me. Or I'll leave Jen with mum and dad, depends on dad's back and knees are. And I'll take dad's car because it needs to run every day, so a run to Cardiff will do it good. So just see how it goes. But uh, yeah, happy about that. Then I'm off Tuesday and she gets to go meet her teacher Tuesday, in Wednesday and Thursday, or oh, Friday. I don't know if Monday and Tuesday as well. Lovely. Nice long weekend next week. 
So the plan is Tuesday to uh, tidy up the bedroom so I can get um, ready to do eBay. Friday will be most likely tidying in eBay. Saturday and Sunday is chilling. Monday will be colouring in eBay and Tuesday might be just chilling. I don't know yet, I'm decided it might be the other way around. But that's it, I hope you've enjoyed this bizarre weekly vlog. I know it's not been as good as it could have been but with Jennifer being ill it was really hard to actually do anything so that's why it's just mostly updates about what was going on with her. But yeah. It's just nice out here now. I'll see you later. Bye.